We have multiple tips on how to use the sonar and catch more fish. The last tip resulted in three takes of two 50 pounders in less than 24 hours. We didn't find this feeding car by accident. We used the deeper chair plus two to look underwater. We located multiple carp on the sonar with these arches. They started feeding right away. We used the one more cast Cologne V Surrender Curve size 4 with a 25 pound brown coated hook length with a length of 6 inches. How did we find this spot? We used a deeper attached to a boat to scan a large area. We saw a big shoal of fish on the sonar, shown as archers, and Jeffrey jumped in the water right away to see if those archers were carp. So I went in, jumped uh, on the water and I was swimming a bit, I didn't know exactly where the place was. Suddenly I saw one carp and I followed that carp and then I turned around and from the side of my view I saw a big shoe of carp uh, swimming over there. I think I got it on camera, we will uh, watch it back, but it was uh, yeah, pretty interesting that the uh, arches actually were carp. We actually found the carp on the sonar and we were managed to film them on the water. Another moment we found multiple carp together on a hard bottom, indicated by the archers and the yellow bright color of the scan. I jumped in the water and made this footage of carp swimming there. Several carp were swimming pretty close to the bottom, just like the sonar had shown me previously. Then I placed the rig and this happened. We get a lot of questions about what settings we use on our deeper and we will reveal everything about our settings later and reveal the last tip of how we had multiple takes of 50 pounders in 24 hours. We found loads of different species of fish in weedy areas which we have multiple reasons for. Some smaller fish can hide in there, other fish search for natural food sources in the vegetation, the smaller hiding fish makes it an interesting location for predatory fish. We mainly search for weedy areas and place our rigs close to those areas on a clear spot. Just like we did here, where we found a clear spot next to a weedy area. The carp started feeding close to the pop-up. After a few attempts this happened. First fish of a new lake. It's a lot of weed in this lake, but we managed to find the clear spots with the deeper. Watch the difference on the sonar between a clear bottom and a weedy bottom. This is a clear bottom without any vegetation. Here you can clearly see a large weed bed. These are some drone shots of the same weed bed with loads of carp in there. Also predatory fish like to be around weeds. Smaller fish tend to hide in there and this attracts the bigger fish too. We decided to fish close to a weed bed where we got snacked on a piece of weed at the bottom and still managed to catch this pike with the West in escape cam. Obstacles and features may look strange on the deeper, but these interesting features can be perfect to catch more fish. We find many fish in cars. Look at this catfish hiding inside the car and watch how many small perch are inside the car too. These obstacles create a safe zone for multiple species. We made this picture on the rooftop of a car. The next scan doesn't look too strange, but it's made with a sensitivity of 100% and a 47 degrees beam. The diameter of the scan is roughly 10 meters, so the features are pretty big if you interpret the data. These things are blocks of clay. If you would fish here, we would highly recommend you placing the rig with a 7 degrees beam in order to have a smaller diameter and a more precise image of what is happening right under your sonar. We have been diving near these obstacles and carp and other species like to be around those features. Even at Lake Bled we found a sander close to similar blocks of clay. Catfish love to hide during the day. They like to be around snacks or under platforms. This scan is a large boulder and a catfish of more than two meters long is just chilling there. We received a lot of questions on Instagram about our settings on the deeper sonar. We mainly put our sensitivity on 100% because there's not much noise in the water and it's a clear lake. 
So there are three different beam angles, the 47 degrees, 20 degrees and 7 degrees. And we mainly use the 47 degrees to scan a larger area because the diameter is larger, which gives you more information about what is happening under you. Then we use the 20 and 7 degrees beam to determine the hardiness of the bottom. And for placing the rig we use the 7 degrees beam because it has a smaller diameter and it's right on your sonar. There are three different color palettes and we prefer to use the day color palette because it distinguishes the colors better than the other ones. So the bottom hardiness is easier to distinguish on this palette. For example a bright yellow color indicates a hard bottom and a purple blue color is more soft. Then you can choose to use the raw sonar display and the basic sonar display. And we always use the raw sonar display because this one provides you with way more information than the basic one. The fish icon is a helpful tool when starting with the deeper sonar. The deeper interprets receive data based on an advanced algorithm. However, even the most advanced devices cannot interpret the data with 100% accuracy. So that's why we don't use these fish icons and instead we interpret the raw data ourselves and then we search for archers which are indicators for fish. The last topic is related to the spring season. In spring we really like to fish the shallow parts of the lake. Here we see most carp swimming around this time of year. This is where we had multiple 50 pounders on the last few days of pre-spawning. And I fished a spot that was only two meters deep. We spotted multiple fish on the drone, again near a weedy area with a clear spot next to it. So I forgot to mention one thing, this one is 58 pounds, which means 26.3 kilos and my PB was 26.2 kilos, so I deserve a shower, come on! Thanks for watching the video, if you have any questions regarding the deeper sonar, feel free to ask your questions down below. New PB, 26.2 kilograms, hell yeah! <laughs> Happy days, I'm over the moon. <laughs>